an all new Parenthood, tonight at 9, 8 central on NBC. Welcome back, everybody. It's the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. On the line, Peter M. Lenkov, of course, executive producer for Hawaii Five-0. And the list goes on and on and on. And of course, two big things in production right now. R.I.P.D., which was a comic book created by Peter. They're now bringing to the film, uh, to uh, to the movie theaters. And of course, um, the, the other one is Fort Profit of the Unexplained. Of course, we're looking for that later on in the movie season. But Peter, uh, Larry was really interested in the Hawaii Five-0. Let's, let's talk about Hawaii Five-0, Peter. I, I have to know everything. I want to know. <laughs> I, I, I want to know how how this came about because uh, years ago, Stephen J. Cannell and there was other people involved. I'm so happy that you wound up doing it, and I'd like to know who some of your guest stars are going to be, and maybe you'll even squeal and tell us some of the plots. <laughs> um. Peter. Well, nobody's happier about it than I am. I'll tell you that. I uh, my dad was. Uh, you're probably the biggest Hawaii Five-0 fan, and I remember him watching it as a as a kid and sitting by his knee while he watched it. And that's a big deal to be able to, in the, especially in the dead of winter in Montreal, Canada, to be able to transport yourself to Hawaii, you know, every week. And it's that bled over from from that show to Magnum PI, and I became a huge fan of that show. So, Thank and, you. and Larry, as you know, which I've told you, you many times at Thank many you. dinners. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, so what, what it, really what happened was I, I, I was on CSI New York, and, and I was executive producer of that show, and which is still on the air. Uh, really good show. Gary Sinise is the star, oh, and, yeah. and uh, that, was a, that was a great experience for me. Uh, and CBS uh, just asked me casually if I was a fan of the original 5 and I said I was. Um, and they asked me if I was interested in, in developing it. And they had tried unsuccessfully for a couple of years developing different scripts. And I think uh, they were looking for a different take on it. And, and uh, I went in and I talked to them about it. And they were crazy enough to believe that I, I, I had a, a vision for it. And, and uh, now we're starting season three. And, and uh, Wonder, great, great, great show. Yeah, no, it's and it's a, it's a, I gotta tell you, it's a fun show to write. It's a fun show to produce. You have a great cast too. Yeah, great. I cast. think they're perfect for the characters they're doing. I mean, you really picked winners. They're fabulous. Yeah, well, that's the whole trick. I mean, Larry will tell you. You know, it's like you really, you know, pe people watch the watch, watch TV for the characters, and that's what they tune in for. So absolutely, um, I think it's the Kahuna in, in Hawaii that that when the actors get over there. They put this special waza on them, and they become, <laughs> yeah, be, because when we went there for Magnum, nobody thought in their wildest dreams that we would ever be back. I thought we were going to do, you know, three three weeks and out and see you later. Here's my check and see you. Well, I remember you didn't think the pilot was even going to No, sell. I mean, I, I, everybody thought it was a big yeah. joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and eight years later. Yeah. No. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, now, now, Peter, when you get a project like this, like Hawaii Five-0, of course, you know, you said yourself you're a big fan. And it's a legendary TV show. How did you avoid kind of doing some of the cliches when you're writing for the, the show, still keeping it kind of true to the form, but avoiding some of the cliches that you'd find in the original uh, original show? Well, I think uh, for me, I, I really approached it from uh, characters first. And I think the one thing... You know, when you look back at that show, just to take a step back, like you look back at that show and it was in its day, it was cutting and a cutting edge procedural show. But I felt that the one thing that was missing from that show, which was really a product of its of television in its day, was it didn't have a lot of character development. You didn't really know why McGarrett, you know, where who McGarrett was, any of his backstory, what the relationship was to any of the other characters. And I felt like for me, how I could modernize it or make it feel relevant was to really dig into the characters and uh, explore them. So I think, you know, right away when you when you go from that from that perspective, I think you could avoid a lot of the cliches and and um, so I went from characters first and then uh, really trying to build a mythology and and trying to create backstories that you cared about these people. So no matter what, even if you weren't enjoying the plot and even if the plot wasn't, you know, this 
you know, fantastic caper of the week, you'd still be captivated and, and, uh, and watch the show because you were caring about these people, about these characters. That's awesome. Now, Peter, um, we're going to one more break. Do you mind hanging in there for a little bit sure, longer? Sure, of course. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Guys, stick around. More great stuff coming up here on the PM Show with the Minettis. 800-336-2225. 800-336-2225. Gary, hang in there, buddy. We will get to your call right after these messages. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.